You've inserted a relay and you want to add a new part into the parts database. One of the quickest ways to do this is open up the PDF for the manufacturer's part. When we select look up and let's say we can't find the part so we've done a search on the part number 869015 from Viedmuller and it doesn't exist. So you select the pencil, you type the part number in 869015. So uh, one five thousand as an example, the manufacturer. And at this stage, this is probably when I'd open up the PDF data sheet and we'll download the data sheet. And this is typically where I would um, Right click, use the select tool in, we can copy and then we can enter a description just by pasting. So the type, so rider series, coil as an example, 24 VDC. Contacts, this instance it's a four uh, changeover, so I can just put four CO. And you only have to fill in the first one, two, three, four, five fields. But the more information you fill in, obviously the better. If we have a look at the data sheet and we'll just browse down to the pinout information and we'll just zoom in. The coil pins are defined as A1, alternate pin numbers, the old pin method of 13 and 14. So I can just put A1, A2, and then on the pin list, just select it, select the three dots, and we can then say it's a form C, and the pins in the order of common, then normally open, and then normally closed. And just repeat that process, form C, 21, 24, 22, form C, 31, 34, 32. And then finally, another one, form C, 41, 40, uh, 4, 42. And those are your four sets of contacts on this device. And we can say OK. Select the tick box. Highlight the item, click OK, and you'll see it pulls in the pin numbers, but it's also pulled in the contact arrangement. And the contact arrangement will also be shown below the coil in the correct format.